everybody parked your car um, on the museum side. Um, we need everyone who's parked on that side to please move your vehicle. We will not be held responsible for it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I just want to make this quick announcement. Me pacho we be so what pack dentist na a wahana dentist in the parking na. Please, please and please move your car before they tow it. Miss Remwa, we can park by the museum. Museum parking no. You bet me a pack by dentist in the Miss Remwa. What pack you have me pacho we be to car no. That's it. I mean sure. I said if you park by the dentist, please move your car. You can park by the museum, the parking there, you can park there, or any other parking around the building. By the dentist, please, please don't park there. If not, they're going to tow your car. Thank you so much. Praise the Lord. Holy are you, Lord, all creation, call you God, worthy is your name. Yeah. 
We begin today's wonderful wedding ceremony between our brother, Elder Samuel Apia, and our sister, Lord Yalabi Asari, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our processional hymn this morning is going to be Presbyterian hymn number 285. 285. O nyang kupon dum yang beshra yang na to wenim tre yang Let us all arise, please. Nato and him trying. She Nachiang. Now my young who will quine as I say so. Never quite a man, a man no more. Nyanko pon ama be you aye. Ama nyina be you wudi aye. Yen yen ije. Yatu ahusa jom. Sawo chira chira wong wong kwang kwang. I'm sure you're the man son of baby. Kosu chira ya wotini ni mukwan Na se asase abone duano Maya sutini ya basara Trini abasa Na yes ro na ya no da May we please be seated as we get ready 
to receive the bridal march, the Apia march.
isn't yours forever You're the one I want to dance with For the rest of my life You're the one I want to hold And never let go Without you I'd be lonely Without you I'd be lost I need you by my side For the rest of my life Without you I'd be lonely Without you Please be seated. Beautiful. At this moment, we shall invite the Soul Revival for a time of praises and worship, please. Amen. Amen. 
Messer, need the near Brazil, so you answer in general now. So, shall we all be upstanding, please? We thank God for such a beautiful day for our sister and our brother.
The Beko Swedra and also Wabra enter into a short time of worship. Yenya has a free set, Yen Sinami, and the Yenya, no medley. That's why we're here to celebrate with them. Tibet Radias, O Panson Coso, Messrs. Sir, who be free of home, and who more than you know.
as we said, Ebe di nada anse. At this moment, I invite Reverend Dr. Samuel Sesu to come and give us the declaration of purpose. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. We thank God so much for today. We thank the Lord for the opportunity that he has given unto us as his children to gather before his presence to celebrate this beautiful union in the presence of God. Amen. Amen. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here in the presence of God and before this congregation to join together this man, Elder Samuel Apia, and woman, Miss Lordia Labi Asari, in marriage. Wherefore, if anyone can show any just cause why they may not be lawfully joined together in marriage, let him or her declare it now. If no impediment is alleged, since no one speak, let us invoke the blessings of God on the union now to be formed. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Dr. Sasu. At this moment, I invite Elder David Asante to give us a prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, the God of Israel, there is no God like you in heaven or on earth. You who keep your covenant of love with your servant, who continue wholeheartedly in your way. You have kept your promise to your servant David, my father, with your mouth, you have promised, and with your hand, you have fulfilled it, as it is today. Second Chronicles 6, 14 to 15. Sadechimia, eye wadum, oh, sadesayena, ah, eye wadum, say it, Irade yete ma wo O se ye won kwanswa Nini nara e ye wadum O aseda Aseda nkwa na ye de ma wo Irade Waseda nyo O aseda nkwa Na ye de ma o ye ni she ye de ye ni she ye no ti je wa se da o wa se da kwa na ye de ma e ra di e wa se da ni o ah se da kwa. I sit down quiet, I hear the mawo. Yeni shi, yenu tiji wasida. Ah, I sit down quiet. Oh, I did see you now. Eh, yeah, what do? Say a de sayena Oh and also a ye wadum Say it yes yeah Erade Yeti Ma Wo Oh 
awari so so ninyi nara eye wadum oh ase dan kwa We bless your name heavenly father you who have by your mighty right arm brought salvation unto yourself we see your glory today you choose a day gathering and an event as this to remind us of the love that you expressed unto us when you elected us as your chosen ones This is our prayer today. We want to say thank you. Now Lord God, we commit this event unto you. As we yield, knowing that you're going to use individuals to administer at today's event, we pray that your Holy Spirit fills us. That everything will be under the control of your Holy Spirit. And at the end we will see your glory manifest once more. Come and take control. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you so much Elder David Asante. At this moment I invite Alexander Akufu to give us a scripture reading. Amen. Our scripture reading will be taken from Proverbs chapter 5, verses 18 to 19. Proverbs chapter 5, verses 18 to 19. Let us hear the word of God. Let your wife be a fountain of blessing for you. Rejoice in the wife of your youth. She is a loving dear, a graceful doe. Let her breast satisfy you always. May you always be captivated by her love. Amen. Thank you, and God bless you. At this moment, I have the singular honor to invite Pastor Gerald Hagan of PIWC, the Regional Youth and PENSA Director, to give us the sermon. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. I bless the name of the Lord and give all honor to him for the opportunity he has given to me to share the word of the Lord with you. I also humbly want to acknowledge and thank our own uh, International Executive Council members that are here present. Uh, All these things add up to Uh, confirm that it is a great privilege to stand before the holy saints of the Lord to share the word of the Lord. So I want to acknowledge our fathers, uh, international executive council members, uh, Apostle uh, Ejie Kwati, and also uh, our father, S.O. Asante. And uh, this is a great privilege. It is on this same token that I want to thank our father, the national head for yielding his very uh, seat and podium to me in this very regard. It is in this same light that I also want to thank my own area head, Apostle Samson of Uriadom, for giving us the opportunity. What would I say to our fathers, our area heads that are gathered here? Thank you so much for all that you have done for us. It is under your uh, teachings that we could stand here, and also uh, all the pastors that are here, including Reverend Bembel, uh, who is the host uh, person. Uh, People of the Lord, I humbly want to share a word with us uh, that I've captioned the precious treasure. The precious treasure, and I humbly want to uh, crave your indulgence as I read from Matthew chapter 13, verse the number 44. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a hidden, is a treasure hidden in a field which a man found and hid. And for joy over it, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. 
and buys that field. I also want to repeat uh, the Proverbs chapter 5, verse 18 to 19 from New Living Translation. It says that, let your wife be a fountain of blessing for you. Rejoice in the wife of your youth. She is a loving dear, a grateful doe. Let her breast satisfy you always. May you always be captivated by her love. Please let us pray. Thank you, Spirit of the living God. I pray in the name of Jesus that through this time, you will speak to us and cause us to be recharged with a power and understanding that will cause us to live with our spouses till the time that you will call us home. In the name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. Beloved fathers and all of us gathered here, I have deliberately chosen this quotation uh, because if you look at it, it talks about the kingdom of God. And if you want to do a little understanding of what is uh, the kingdom of God, it is something that has already happened. That is when Jesus Christ came on the face of this earth, he actually said that the kingdom of God has come when we see some miracles and other things. But yet, it is also something that is ahead of us. So it is in uh, contest, and it is also in tension between a kingdom yet uh, unrealized, but at the same time, a kingdom that has come to us. But if you look in biblical explanations and a lot of them, the king, uh, one of the things that is compared to the kingdom of God is a bride and also a marriage. Oh, hallelujah. And in that sense, you see that the parable of the kingdom of God uh, that we have read has three main uh, sub-themes or ideas which are perfect descriptions of marriage and all that we are doing very uh, uh, at this place. The first one is the preciousness of the marriage or the preciousness of what this man went to find. So if you look into it, it says that a man went to find a treasure, which is a precious treasure, and because of how precious it is, he went to sell all he had. I pray in the name of Jesus that the two that we have come to accompany and for, uh, at large, all of us gathered here who are married, will see each partner as very precious. Uh, something that made all of us uh, sacrifice all that we have, including the hard sweat money that we have had to marry the one that we have. The second one that is in there is the permanence. You see, when you have bought something, it is yours. And so is marriage. That it is uh, the word that is used in marriage which brings permanence is wedding. I personally think that it is supposed to be welding. It means that we are permanently put together and there is no way of turning back. I pray in the name of Jesus that this idea will carry us wherever we are. Even regardless of how it is in our weddings, we, uh, our marriages, we will not have to go back. The third thing I pick from this story is two. It's also in con uh, contest or also if you want tension. Ex exclusive and inclusive. And with the last one, I will... Uh, uh, bring it when I'm doing my conclusion. The reason why it's exclusive is that when you have bought for some, uh, you have bought and you have toiled and you have bought something, it is exclusively yours and nobody shares it with you. I pray in the name of Jesus that we will understand marriage from this contest. But for want of time, I want to center on uh, where my theme has been chosen, which is the precious treasure. Uh, so when we say that something is precious, then we say that something uh, it is of great value not to be wasted or treated carelessly. And in that sense, uh, the two people who are gathered together are supposed to understand uh, our elder Sam and also our sister uh, Lordia are supposed to see each other as precious something that they have had. And they are supposed to live with that understanding all the days of their lives. When something is precious to you, we see it in the way you treat it. It is so important. And when you use it, you see, uh, you use it at a very important place where everybody will see that what you have is precious. And we can talk about gold, we can talk about platinum and all that. We don't use it just anywhere, but it is very good and important place that we use it. One other thing we don't do with treasures, all the metals that are precious that I have said, is that they are also uh, not put anywhere. 
You keep it. You cover it so that it will not corrode, so that its shine will not be taken off. All these things are descriptions of marriage as we are supposed to understand. My sister and my brother, today all of us are here gathered and we came to accompany you. And it looks very beautiful and even the kingdom of heaven is described as it is so. But if you don't have that idea of the partner being a precious jewel, something to you, a treasure to you, you will immediately and quickly forget it. That is when we treat ourselves as ordinary and we allow a lot of things to happen in the marriage. You see, uh, I quite remember one guy bought, he gathered all the money he had and bought a very precious, nice car. And what he used to do was that in the afternoon, when everybody is uh, uh, in their uh, shed or whatever it is, then he will begin to drive it. He drives it slowly. He puts music on it. And he wants everybody to pay attention. In fact, he's, he lowers his uh, grass so that everybody who is uh, around will see that, oh, this guy owns this car. You see, our, our marriages are supposed to be like that. And more especially, our elder Sam, you are supposed to treat our sister as a precious jewel so that when somebody comes to you, oh, come and greet my wife for me. Come and look at my wife and greet her for me. Oh, hallelujah. So in this context, sister, I want to divide this into two and also talk uh, to the two people, our sister Lordia and also our elder Sadly. You see that the, the focus here is precious treasure. And when you look at Proverbs chapter 31, verse 10 to uh, ongoing reading from the New King James Version, it says that who can find a virtuous wife? When you go deeper into the word virtue, and you bring it down into a uh, treasure. Virtue can be a treasure. Something that is to be held, something that we thank God for. But the Bible says that who can find a virtuous wife? For her wealth is far above rubies. So what we are talking here is earthly things. But we are talking about how you are able to treasure your wife or your partner beyond ordinary things. Hallelujah. You see, we are in America where many people are rushing to go and marry. But don't understand this concept that marriage and your partner is supposed to be considered as somebody who is so precious beyond rubies. I pray in the name of Jesus. You see, sometimes this is not, it's not that we don't have understanding of this, but it is that we don't intentionally practice it. This must come with some intentionality. So, uh, my sister... What we want you to know is that you are a precious something, a precious treasure. And if you look at the reading, it says that she is, uh, the reason why she is a treasure is described in the Proverbs 31. Uh, it says that the first thing we see here is that she is trustworthy, trustworthy. So when a lady that you have found is trustworthy, then it adds to her treasure. It says that she brings gain to her husband. You see, there are many people who only bring losses to their husbands. But this particular woman, she is a precious treasure. For her, she doesn't only bring losses, but having married her, she is going to bring gains to you. May it happen to you in the name of Jesus. She is also hardworking. She is hard working. You see, there are many people, you see, there are differences between hardly working and hard working. When you go to most of the job uh, places, uh, I, I got introduced to this term where people are hardly working. And that when we say hardly working, it means that they don't work at all. But this particular woman you have married, she is a precious treasure. And for that matter, she is hard working. In the context of the Proverbs, it tells us why she is hard working. It, it, it tells us that one, she works with her own hands. Regardless of the pro, uh, projection of your hands and all the things that you put upon yourself, remember to work with your own hands. Hallelujah. She rises early. This is a description of somebody who is unique, who is a treasure that we won't get anywhere. 
she is scarce. And you find her to be very hardworking because she works with her hands. She rises early and her family does not eat lazy food. She, they, in fact, it's, it's okay for one day to eat the burger kings and all that. But if you continually eat it, then it means that you are turning from the treasure you are to become something else. But my sister, with all that I'm saying, what I want you to understand from the story is that, you see, your very virtue, quality, or treasure to Mr. Apia is in your function as a wife. You see, with the Proverbs 31, it says a lot of good things about the woman, but its focus of description is the fact that she is a wife. In this world, people are pushing all of us, including our daughters, our children, uh, our ladies, to become somebody they are not. Be comfortable in who you are as a wife and do everything you, want, uh, you like to make it a valuable one. This is a position that God alone gives. Hallelujah. And you have support, regardless of changes of seasons and things that are coming up, be comfortable with who you are and make sure that you do it with all your strength. The reason is that you will never get to a point where you are not acknowledged. We love our mothers and we love them because they were good wives. I pray in the name of Jesus that my sister, you will be a precious treasure to Elder in all things. Elder, in the same regard, I read the Proverbs chapter 9 uh, verse Proverbs chapter 5, verse 18 to 19. In fact, when you read it, it's a lot. But I decided to read it in the New Living Translation because of some key words that are used here. And that is where I want to bring that treasure out of. If you read it, and I want to uh, crave your indulgence and read it again in the New Living Translation. It says that let your wife be a fountain of blessing for you. Let your wife. You see, when we say that you are letting something, I want to define that, you see, not preventing or forbid, or it is to allow. You see, that she can be a fountain of blessing, all right, but she says that let her be. That means that it is possible that though your wife is so great and precious and all that, if you don't allow her, you will never see it. So allow it. Let it be an intentional something that happens. You see, when you read the uh, William Webster Dictionary, it says that allow something to, 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 uh, to let means to allow something to happen. Another key term I want to uh, plead with our fathers to also define is what blessing. You see, I've, I saw a lot of definitions of blessing, but this particular one, I'm talking about a blessing is something good that you are grateful for. Something good that you are grateful for. Please, are we all here? You see, when you turn to the left or to your right, turn to somebody you are grateful for, and that is your wife. The reason is that she is a treasure. He is a treasure to you. And all the things that happen to you on the face of this earth, let it be that the best that happened to you was that you had a husband and you had a wife. If you don't allow some of these things to happen, then you will not appreciate the treasure that you have found. And it will not be worth it to sell all that you have to get it. You see, to allow yourself to look at her as something good, precious, that you are grateful for in your life. Live with her carrying this mentality and intentionality. As for me, I thank God. When you turn, as for me, I thank God. I found Sister Lordia. She is the best that happened to me. She is my treasure. She is hot or whatever. I am praying that whatever you decide to call your wife when you have gone out of here, consider considering her as a treasure, as a gold, as something that is worthy that you have found. You see, the reason why, uh, Elder, I'm speaking to you now, the reason why she is a precious uh, substance is that in the description that we read, it says that she is a fountain of blessing. You see, the understanding of a fountain is water that rises up like this, and if something doesn't interrupt it, it keeps on going. It should always remind you that she is a blessing, and continually, this must be in your mind. Rehearse it, intentionally keep it, and let it be that when you are praying, you remember God that thank you for that third day that you allowed me to become a husband to this person. Try to make sure that you are treating her like a jewel, a precious 
substance, something that you, you yourself, by the grace of the Lord, you have found. He says that she is a loving deer. I will not have time to describe all these animals and something about them that is so lovely. That is the reason why the Bible is keeping a deer in this. But look at it, which is your assignment then, elder, to look at a loving deer and also a graceful. But you see, even if you don't understand anything, when something is graceful, it comes with some form of, of, of attraction. It comes with some form of peace and joy that settles within your soul. When I was looking at something to describe a treasure to you, elder, in this regard, and all of, 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 of us men that are gathered here, I found uh, Proverbs chapter 18, Verse the number 22. He says that he who finds a wife finds a good thing. Hallelujah. So if possible, can you just put it there? That he who finds a wife finds excellent thing. He who finds a wife finds a treasure. Finds something that you are supposed to die for. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will actually find in her a good thing, an excellent, precious thing. And the Bible says that when you have done that, you also obtain favor. So if you want a cheaper way of obtaining favor from the Lord, don't look any further. It is your wife that sits close to you. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will understand it this way and you will continue to keep it. But fathers and everybody gathered here in my uh, conclusion, I want to say that she is a good thing, treasure you have found by by her, you obtain favor from God. If you know you have found a treasure, sell everything else, my brother. If you know you have found a treasure. And I think that that is what you have done by sacrificing your resources to make sure that you have gone through every requirement that is looked up from you to be able to do this. Sacrifice everything, your time. One of the things that I want to encourage you to sacrifice is other relationships. You see, we are all boys, boys, and sometimes there's the possibility for us to have times that we watch movies, we watch soccer, we go to this place, we watch football and all that. Now, the focus and the treasure moves from the friends and everybody else to your wife because you don't want her, you don't want a treasure to be lost. You want to keep her and do everything. Oh, you want to clap, clap for Jesus on this note. Make her your first priority. Let her love captivate you. Let her love captivate you. You see, in summary, I want you to understand that God expects us to see our partners as a treasure. You see, sometimes when the majority of us have allowed our marriages to be on the air, uh, in the exposure for a long time and as a result of that they have corroded they no longer look attractive as they are but we thank God that we have come to the shining shop where the blacksmith is able to shine it by the word of the Lord so that it will spark interest and cause all of us to begin to enjoy our marriage people of the Lord I said that when I'm concluding I will tell you the reason why it is inclusive the reason why it is inclusive is that having you see the man saw a hidden treasure I'm asking the question that why is it that he didn't go for the treasure? But he went to buy the land. It, you see, everything that you buy has every other things across it. You see, our sister looks nice. You are also looking nice. But you have uh, your own issues. You have your own challenges. Having bought the treasure, having bought the land, it comes with the treasure. And you are supposed to be entertaining. You see, most of us, we normally see wedding in our minds as it happened in the church. But there are excesses. There are a lot of things you have to look. You see, if, uh, if love is blind, marriage is eye-opening. And you will see a lot of things. I pray in the name of Jesus that in all these things, you will have a heart to contain it. May the Lord bless all of us. Amen. Wow. God bless you. God bless you, Pastor Gerald Hagan. God bless you. God bless you so much. Uh, Elder Apia. And Lord, yeah, I want to assure you that you're not the only ones that received this message. Most of us also received it to re-energize our marriages. Amen. 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 God bless you. God bless you. At this moment, I invite Soul Revival so that we take our regular offertory. Regular offertory. So revival.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord, all oh the earth. Sing a holy song from your heart. Oh, hallelujah, the Lord. Hallelujah, sing unto the Lord a new song. Sing unto the Lord, all oh the earth. Sing a holy song from your heart.
So revival for the time of our friend. Uh, before I invite Elder Samuel Ameya uh, to pray over the offertory for us, please, 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 the parking. People have parked, blocked a lot of people. Um, I have two cars who have blocked the bridal party. The cars are for the bridal party. It's a Toyota Highlander. Uh, gray color, uh, 551SH4, 
and then uh, that's a Massachusetts plate, and then a to, uh, Honda, uh, I think it's a Honda Accord, Rhode Island plate, 1LH762. Please move your cars before they are towed. Thank you so much. Let us pray. We read from 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 9 to 10. Now may he who supply seed to the sower and bread for food, supply and multiply the seed you have sown and increase the fruits of your righteousness while you are enriched in everything for all liberality. Amen. Father, we thank you this afternoon for the seed you have given unto us. We have been faithful and responsive to your call that every seed you give us, we must sow into the fertile ground that you've given unto us. So this afternoon, we sow on this fertile ground, and we ask that you send the rain, that there shall be increase. Let us germinate, Father God, a harvest that is 30-fold, 60-fold, and 100-fold. And may we continue to walk in your blessings, that we shall always be a blessing in your kingdom. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now the moment that we've all been waiting for. Woo! Yeah, I want to scream. Amen. At this moment, I humbly invite the district minister of the New England district of the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Reverend Bembel Nana Owusu. Thank you. We serve a mighty God, and our God is good. And all the time, we thank God for this opportunity. We thank God for this wonderful day. And at this time, I would like to let our elder Samuel appear. And Lord, yeah, can you just stand up and face me right here? As you are facing me right now, I would like to know your intentions. The reason why you have gathered all of us here. No, stay, look at me this time now. So I would like to find out your intentions. Uh, the reason why you have gathered all of us here this morning or this afternoon. The person who said, Tia, Mommy, you know, be she a summary. So I want to ask you. Elder Samuel Apia and Lord Asari Lebi, have you come here in the presence of these witnesses, this congregation, to freely give yourself to each other in holy matrimony? If your answer is yes, say I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Uh, at this moment, I would like to find out who is giving this beautiful lady to Elder Sam, as I will call you from now, as a wife. Who is giving Lordia to Elder Sam as a wife? I, Ebenezer Asari, today gave Elder Apia uh, to my daughter, <laughs> Lordia Asari for marriage. Okay. William well, Mr. Woo, I want to ask, has Elder fulfilled all that you're supposed to feel? Papa, Elder Apia have really demonstrated beyond imagination. He has fulfilled all the righteousness, and at this time, he has the clearance to go on. Okay. I like, I like, I like what he said. He said, now you have the clearance to go. Okay, so, 
When I look at your wife right now, uh, I don't know who she actually is. I could see she is veiled. She is covered. And I know Jacob went to serve for seven years. And at the end of the service, he was giving Leah instead of the actual woman that she was looking for. So, uh, she said, I said, say, yeah, Lord, dear, say, no, no. But I'm for kind of And so, uh, you can unveil her, and then you let me know if it is really Lord, yeah. Then we continue. Okay, according to Elder Sam, yes, she is Lord Yah Lebi Asare, his rightful bride. So now, let me ask you this question. Do you, Elder Samuel Apia, and Lord Yah Lebi Asare, do solemnly declare that you have been married in accordance with the customary law? If yes, say I do. I do. I do. Okay, so now we are aware that they have been married customary. And so we are now asking the blessings of the Lord on this marriage. Once you have declared that you have married customary, will you give each other the right hand of fellowship? And so please give the mic to Elder Sam and you say this after me. I, I, Samo Akosi Odum Apia. Do take you. Do take you, Lordia Ama Enyente Labi Asai. To be my wedded wife. To be my wedded wife. And do in the presence of God. And do in the presence of God. And before this congregation. And before this congregation. Promise. Promise. And covenant. And covenant. To be unto you. To be unto you. A loving. A loving. Faithful. Faithful. And, and dutiful husband. And dutiful husband. Until God separates us. Until God separates us. So help me God. And so help me God. Now, you give the mic to Lord yeah. Lordia, yeah, you repeat this after me. I, I, Lordia, yeah, ama inyente labi asai. Do take you. Do take you, Samuel Akresi Odom Apia. To be my wedded husband. To be my wedded husband. And do in the presence of God. And do to the presence of God. And before this congregation. And before this congregation. Promise. Promise. And covenant. A covenant. To be unto you. To be unto you. A loving. A loving. Faithful. Faithful. And dutiful wife. And dutiful wife. Until God shall separate us by death. Until God separate us by death. So help me God. So help me God. <laughs> Okay. Now, at this time, I would like to call upon Apostle Samson Yadon to pray over the rings for us so we can continue. Where is the rings? Apostle Yadon is coming and give it to him. Shall we pray? Our most gracious Lord. We want to thank you today and we pray over these rings about to be exchanged between this man and woman standing here in your presence as a token of their love, a symbol 
or from broken relationship. I pray that the message this ring communicate will be inscribed upon the tablets of their heart. And therefore, I sanctify these rings of God for their exclusive use and pray that even as they put them on, the message will be inspired in their heart and the spirit of it will be kept fervent always in their hearts. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Now, you give um, the ring to the man to put on the wife. So, Elder Sam, as you are putting this ring on your wife, you say this after me. As you are putting this ring on your wife, you say this after me. By this sign, by this sign, I, I, Samo Akosi Odom Apia, do take you, do take you, Lord Yama and Yentel Abi Asari, to, to have and to hold, to have and to hold, from this day forward, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, in sickness and in health, to love, to love, and to cherish you, and to cherish you, till death separates us, till death separates us. Amen. Amen. So now, Lord, yeah. By this sign, by this sign, I, I, Lord, yeah, Ama. Do take you. Do take you, Samuel Akwesi Odom Apia. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better and for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish you. To love and to cherish you. Till, till death do us part. Till death do us part. Amen. Amen. Okay, give each other a right hand. Give each other a right hand. Now, since you have covenanted to live together in holy matrimony and have now declared same before God and this congregation and have given and pledge mutual loyal and love to each other, I, Reverend Ben Bell, Nana Ousu, as an ordained minister of the Church of Jesus Christ, pronounce you today to be a husband and wife in the name of God the Father and of the Son. What? Excuse me, excuse me. Lisbeth. What God has put together, no man let no man put asunder. Please, can you bring me the table over there? That table over there. Now, before God and this congregation, Lord, yeah, I'm giving this sound to you. Elder Sam, as I'll be calling him from now, I give this sound to you. Elder, can you pour a little bit of your sound into this container for me? Yeah, it's okay. 
Elder, which color is yours? Microphone. Elder, which color is your son? Maroon. Okay. Uh, but I see it like something like red. Close enough. We'll, we'll call it's, it red. It's what? Red. Okay. <laughs> Let's say it's red. Okay, Lord, yeah. Can you also put some of yours in here? Lord, yeah. Which color is yours? Pure My white. My dear friend, can you come? Can you shake these things together? Mix it very well for me. When you are done, you put it back. All right. Three more seconds. <laughs> so, Elder, what color did you say yours was? I said, I said it was red. Okay, take it out of here now. Take your red. In fact, it would be very difficult to collect all the reds and reconsolidate it back why, into... Why, why is it going to be difficult? Because it's been consolidated and it's a bunch of them. Okay. So, it has been... Yeah, get that. Okay, Lord, yeah, what color was yours? Pure white. Okay, take it out of here now. I'm not able to. This is why I'm telling you that what God has put together, let no man put asunder. God has joined you together, and you see, you put in red, Lord, you put in white, and now I have, what color is this now? What? <laughs> okay, and now none of them can take the color that he or he should put in here. And so God has joined you together. And what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Amen. Okay. I think this table cannot be taken away. Papa, sorry, an emergency announcement, please, before you continue. Elisha Haruna, Red Toyota Highlander. The police is outside waiting for you. Please, please. You have blocked a, a particular place. The police is outside. Please. Thank you. All right. So now, Adasam, you have been pronounced husband and wife. So, Lordia is your wife. And all the witnesses gathered here wants to see what you'll be doing with Lordia in your bedroom. Because after today, after today, you may not be there. So you may now kiss your bride. People are signaling from the back that these guys have blocked them. So they want to see, they want to see it once more. Did you see it? Okay. We thank you, God. We thank God. We thank God. Please, now I would like to invite all ministers here to come so we pray for the bride and the groom. They will bring the pillows and you kneel down on them. How many pillows? So we man we ain't Any year now. Are you okay? Mm-hmm. 
I would like all of us to pray for the couple and to bless them so that when we finish the um, the regional or the regional elder of the Pentecost Church will pray for them. So let us all pray for them right now. Jesus, we commit them into your hands, Lord. May you touch them and bless them. Holy Father, bless them in the name of Jesus. Let your blessings abound in the name of Jesus. We give you all the glory into the hands we commit to them. In the mightiest name of Jesus. We commit them into your hands, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Father, we pray for them. In the name of Jesus, we commit them into your hands and say, Lord, let your blessings abound on them. Let them see your glory. Let them see the manifestation of glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Now, we want the national head of the Church of Pentecost to pray. Please, the mic. Give them mic. Why have you taken them? Uh-huh. Yeah, thank you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to bless you for this day. This is a day that you have made and will rejoice and be glad in it. Father, we want to thank you, O God, that this is a reflection of what happened in the Garden of Eden. Yes, Lord. That there are many more people who still uphold heterosexual marriage. We want to give you praise. We want to give you the honor yes, Lord. for what we have seen today. Yes, Lord. Father, by the imposition of hands of this great man of God, we pray that your favor, your mercies, all your goodness will follow them all the days of their life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Father, we pray, O oh God, that you lift up your countenance upon them. Let grace speak for them. Let grace speak for them. As your word has said, he who finds a wife finds a good thing. And your favor will be their portion. Father, your word says that even if two shall agree on anything and they pray, you will answer. Father, I pray that your favor go with them. Grant them the fruit of the womb. Yes, Lord. Grant them the fruit of the womb. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. May they not struggle to prosper. May they not struggle to prosper. Yes, Lord. Let peace and your grace reign in their homes. Father, raise our son Samuel as a priest in the house for his wife and his children. Yes, raise our daughter as a prophet for the family. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you rain all your blessings upon them. May God bless you. May God bless you. Amen. May grace speak for you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. You get up and you help your wife together. Okay, thank you. Please, at this time, I'll be going to the office to sign the certificates, and I will need two witnesses for you and two witnesses for you whilst the others wait for us, and we shall be back. We have a ministration song from the PIWC choir. Um, as they go to sign.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are so excited to be here celebrating the union of our beloved MD, our elder Sam Apia, and our beloved sister. Please, please, and I'm begging again, we have police around. If we don't take care, they're going to shut down the wedding right now because of the parking, the way people are parked, they have blocked things, the police are getting impatient now. Please, with all due respect, if you know you didn't park well, please, go and move your car. They have parked and blocked everywhere. Please, please, thank you. Amen. So we're just going to sing a song of God's faithfulness. Amen. Amen. You've been faithful, Lord, through the ages past. That Oh 
While they are still there, uh, we are going to take the couple's offertory right now. And please bring your gifts and uh, whatever you want to bless the couples with. Please uh, bring it to them while they are singing. Uh, so we're going to do the couple's offertory. And again, please, we are still getting pressures from the police. If you have not parked well, please, please go move your car before they tow it. Please. Thank you. So we're doing the couples of a tree now. Bring your blessings to the couples. Bring your gifts. Everything. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. We want to celebrate Jesus in the house. Hallelujah. What God has done is amazing. Hallelujah. God, you so good. God, you are kind. God, you, God, you so good. Come on. God, you are kind. God, you are wonderful, my God. You are, God, you are so good. Just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, we would like to present the flyest, the freshest, the newest of couples, Samuel and Lordia Apia.
Papa told me, Hey, I had a so much over here that the ministers couldn't come and give you your gifts 
and that's a blessing. So you're going to give one song so that the ministers can bring. Oh, magnify the Lord. Yeah, cash up and uh, Give through cash up over there. Cash up and sell. Okay. Yeah. With me. Let us exalt. We have the cash up. Uh, ODOM 91. And uh, the ZL is 774-253-6049. You can give through that, please. Thank you. Come over. Okay. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. With magnify. Oh, magnify the Lord with me. Senior Presbyter, Madam Beatrice, to present the certificates to the couple. Presbyterian as a I woman Zion. Any, yeah, sorry, soft phone in penny for a disaster certificate. E hey, yeah, I worry so a woman. Emma worry for me, and we just say every ne I just say yes, you beba. Oma, ya worry for on your couple on Shrasso. Oma, I depend free mumra. Oma, so demra. Omo don trampo. Omo an kambo mumra ebusiani ni neemu na insiranya omo dia. Amen. Amen. Yo mame. Eni e wuni e di show nsa. Hacha me damu na se. Elder and Samuel, the couple response. Hacha, where is she? 
Nipa yeshe nina wa hey. Yaki kanyan sa se. Ya di a boma trans ye. Say si ke ye millions. O nya mia shra so da da. And un ti me nyum se. Ebe ye juma be bre. Na a tre o nya mia juman sumu. O nya mia shra mo. Amen. Elder and Mrs. Samuel Apia. Oh, ma, I'm going to mic. Sorry. Amen. If you can help me sing this song. See what the Lord has done. Everybody sing. See what the Lord has done. Today, as I stand here with my wife, I say, as I stand here with my wife, our hearts is full of joy for what the Lord has done and continues to do in our lives. So we say, first and foremost, thank you, Jehovah God, for bringing us thus far. Second, I would like to thank the um, house minister, the person of Reverend Benbel Owusu, who was our counselor since day one, since we stepped in, I stepped into this building. He has received us. He has been counseling us. He's been praying with us. And his counsel and his advice has blessed us thus far. So, Reverend, we say thank you. Second, I would like to start from our national head, whom I didn't know was coming, but you are here. God bless you for coming all the way. Oh, I forgot to mention his full name. Our national head in the person of Apostle Michael Ajumai Amwako the national head of the Church of Pentecost USA. So he's my big boss. God bless you for coming. And Mama Sheila, thank you for coming. And then um, to my area head in the person of Apostle Samson Yadom and Mama Millicent Yadom, thank you for coming and your advice, your stories that you, I still remember them. God bless you. And then um, to my head pastor uh, in the person of Reverend Gerald Hagen and Mama Jemima Hagen. We say God bless you for day one when I came to you and said that I'm ready for marriage. You have helped me in the process. You prayed with me. You have counseled me. And I'll never forget that day. May the Lord richly bless you. And then, who else am I missing? A uh, there's lot a lot, of there's a lot of people. <laughs> there's a lot of people up there. Wow. Well, all the ministers, the clergy, from the Presbyterian clergy, the session members, and then all the apostles and ministers that came from far and near. I cannot mention all your names, and honestly, I, I am over, I'm overwhelmed by the many ministers I'm seeing. I did not expect any of this. May the Lord richly bless you. May the Lord richly bless you. I mean, I, I, I'm just short of words at this point, but thank you all for coming far and near. Um, this, this is a wonderful thing. This is a wonderful thing because Pentecost, Presby, coming together as one. We, 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 are, we are putting the devil to shame, right? Possessing the nations. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. <laughs> I would also like to thank my parents. Apostle Dr. John Kwame Apia and Mrs. Margaret Apia. 
I'm your firstborn. And, and to be honest with you, I, I can say this with my chest out. They have taken care of me all the way into my adulthood. As a matter of fact, I was the one who said, it's time for me to grow. That's how much of a blessing they've been in my life. My parents, may the Lord richly bless you. Amen. To the parents of Lodia Apia. Benjamin Asari and Mama Gloria Asari, wherever you are, I know you could not be here, but you are here in spirit. And I know you are watching us from the live stream. I want to say God bless you for receiving me into the family. For the first time we met, you were very receptive. You fed me to the point that I, I even have to force myself to finish just to prove that I would be a good, uh, how do I say, asso to you. <laughs> God bless you for your hospitality and your warm reception. I will never forget. Oh, don't worry, we will come, we will come. Amen. Hey, who else am I missing? My team, my team, my team, my team, my groomsmen. Shout out to the groomsmen. They haven't slept since we started this journey. When, when we started this week, they've been going up and down, back and forth, grabbing things left and right. God bless you, groomsmen. I, I, cannot, I cannot thank you enough. To the bridesmaids, I haven't forgotten y'all. You guys are amazing. Helping my wife out, sleepless nights, praying with her, taking some of the, 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 the weight off her shoulders just so that we can witness this beautiful occasion. May the Lord richly bless you all. To my PIWC congregations, and I should even add the entire church of Pentecost, USA. In fact, I did not know uh, many, many of you all would come this far to witness me. I think I'm just some small boy somewhere who is just getting married. But to be frank, my idea. Because say Yehovah Shramu, Yehovah Shramu, Yehovah Shramu. To Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Mount Zion. The other day I was looking at um, the logo, and it says that we may be one, or they, they shall be one. In fact, you have proven just that statement. Since I stepped foot here, it's like I'm a member here. Oh, Sam, welcome. Oh, you need anything? Just let us know. And I'm like, wow. I pressed before. Wow, 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 wow. In fact, my idea don't know. God bless the Presbyterian Church of Ghana, Mount Zion. The, the reception has been great. As a matter of fact, just God bless you. That, that's enough said there. Hey, what else am I missing? Help me out, babe. Your Where wife. You? <laughs> Your wife. <laughs> I felt like I'm missing. And to all of you, all of you, all of you, those I didn't mention, those who have been working in the background, um, I know those who I don't know, um, the ministers who are from outside the Church of Pentecost, outside of Fresby that I've invited, God bless you. I've seen you, and I know you've, you've made the effort to be here. May the Lord bless you. Oh, um, and that is all I have. Amen. Hey, how about your wife? Oh, wifey, wifey, hey. wifey. Dada on kakra. Oh. In fact, there are thousands and thousands upon thousands of men out there. But when I came to you, you said, oh, I shall walk with you in marriage. In fact... God bless you for honoring and starting this journey with me. Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You may be seated now. Um, I have just one announcement that the reception is going to be done at St. George's Orthodox Cathedral, 30 Anna Street, Worcester, MA 01604. Um, 5 p.m. And uh, uh, before uh, I before I uh, invite uh, the closing uh, the pastor for the closing prayer, because of time and what is going on right now, I want to humbly invite all the ministers. We wanted to introduce them one after the other. But because of our parking situation and everything, I duly, duly respect 
Your Honor, may you please stand as we honor you, please. With all due respect, may you please stand as we honor all of you. God bless you so much for coming. God bless you so much. Oh, man, someone on your case. Hey, I saw for a and Nana. Thank you so much for coming. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Now I humbly invite Apostle Esso Asante, International Executive Council member, for the closing prayer, please. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, so Papa will come before that. Uh, all heads here in the house, please check our WhatsApp platform for an important announcement. Oh, yes. Check the WhatsApp platform. Thank you. Shall we be on our feet, please? If you can. We want our hearts and our spirits to be lifted up unto the Lord even as I pray. Father in heaven, once again, we want to thank you. We bless you very much for the things that you do in the life of humanity. It brings to pass that the fact that when you created us, you loved us. And you expected good things to take place in our lives. Father, you always ensure that it comes to pass. And today we want to bless you for the life of Elder Samuel Apia and Lord dear, before they were born, God, you knew that this day was coming to pass. And if we see what we are seeing today, it is not a surprise to you. So we want to lift up your name. We want to glorify you for making this day come to pass and for putting them together, making them one. We give you all the glory. Even as we depart, we commit ourselves into your hands. May your spirit and your presence and your face continue to be with us. Continue to let your grace continue to lead us. Even as we leave here to our various homes, guide us. The remaining activities that are left for this wedding, we pray that your spirit will brood over it. We give you all the glory, we give you the honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Amen. God bless you. We now invite Reverend Ben Belnana Uzu for the benediction. People of God, as we are departing, let us receive the benediction from the Lord. May the Lord God Almighty, our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, may he keep you safe. May he look upon your spirit so and body blameless until he appears in his glory. May the Lord shine his face upon you and give you grace. May his favor go with you in everything that you do. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Um, before we sing our recessional hymn, please, the couple is going to take a picture with the clergy. With the clergy, I saw for Waha, me pamocho. The couple is going to take a picture. So once we recess and we come back, please, your first picture is with the clergy before they go, please. Thank you so much. Our recessional hymn is Presbyterian hymn number 550. Oh, okay. Me pamocho, qua for Mr. Montrain, me pamocho. So we're just going to take a picture with the clergy, and then just after that, then uh, we can recess, please. Yes, the congregation can now sit, please.
me pacho osofu yiri bia wa hanso misrewa no abeka ho me pamucho osofu yiri bia anso me pacho ministers wives please be part mama mi hu <laughs> mama mi hu <laughs> Okay, um, please, another announcement. Uh, we have a cocktail hour here, please. The reception is not open till 5.30. So please go to the cocktail hour over here. Also, the children will be in a separate room at the reception. Thank you so much. And we have two cars that are blocking the bridal cars. Please, the ones I mentioned. Please, if you don't move, they can't get into their cars. Please, please. Uh, can you project those cars for me, please? Okay. Our recessional hymn is Presbyterian hymn number 50. We will go and then the bride and the groom will follow the choir. Please, these cars, move your cars, please. Let us all rise, please. Oh, Nyanko Pong. Yeah, 